Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a review on the Dose of Colors X I Love Sarah E collection. I only got the eyeshadow palette and two lip products. I actually just got it in the mail and I cannot wait to play with it. She came out with a few different products, the eyeshadow palette, two highlighters and five lip products I think. I only have those. The packaging is gold, it's so pretty. And the inside is even prettier, like look at this. It's so, so beautiful, very summery and oh, those colors are so pretty oh i cannot wait to play with them i got one liquid lipstick in the shade peachy because the other liquid lipsticks they look very similar to something that i already have but the one in the shade peachy looked interesting and the packaging is very beautiful and then i have the gloss brio it has a lot of gold flakes and i don't have anything like this so i thought it would be very interesting all right i'm gonna start with my eyes okay so i just find my eyes with some concealer like i normally do i'm gonna jump into this palette it's so gorgeous. The only matte color that I can use for a transition shade is this color right here, which is called Loungy. This palette feels so high-end. <laughs> well, it is high-end, but it feels very nice and heavy. I really like it. So yeah, I'm going in with Loungy. So far, it doesn't really have any kit back. I'm gonna take that, mm, put it in my crease. It's very nice. It's applying very smooth and nice, and it has quite some color payoff. It works very well as a transition shade, at least. I really want to put this color in my eyelid, because it's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna do that. But first, I'm gonna take the color Wanderlust right here, with a smaller blending brush. I'm gonna put that in the crease lower. They're not overly pigmented which is nice because you can easily use those two mattes as transition shades and if they were too pigmented then you would have to use very little product in order to use it as a transition shade that's good but still if you build it it builds very nicely so far and i'm gonna bring it in the outer corner they really don't have any kickback which is very nice i don't mind it the most important thing is how the eyeshadow applies at the eyes but if the eyeshadow applies very nicely and it doesn't have kickback then it's a plus okay and then i'm gonna go in with that first blending brush and a little bit of loungy and soften out the edges very very nice so far those colors are very soft and smooth this is such a beautiful summery palette ah it's gorgeous i think i'm happy like this. I might fix it afterwards. Okay, now I'm gonna take the color Palma, the star of the show. I'm gonna start with a flat synthetic brush and see how it applies and then work with uh, my finger probably. Okay, it's picking up some product as you can see. And... Hmm. Okay, this definitely has some fallout. It feels, at least with a brush, it feels like a pressed glitter. I think it will work best with a glitter primer so that it keeps the pigment in there. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try going in with my finger. Oh, okay, that feels better. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put it everywhere basically. Oh, yes. That's very nice, but I would definitely recommend to go in with a primer first so that it keeps it in place because I'm afraid that it might transfer through the day or you might have some fallout, but I think it would look amazing with a primer. It's so pretty, super pigmented, very pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with my brush again because I want to fix the inner corner and the edges, kind of make them a little bit sharper. I forgot to mention that this collection is limited edition, but it's still available. So I thought I would do a review on it so you can still get your hands on it. I'm gonna clean the fallout a little bit. Yeah, this color has quite a bit of fallout because just like I said, it feels like a pressed glitter more than a shimmering eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna leave my eyes like this. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'll be back to do my lower lash line and the lips. <laughs> All right, so I did the rest of my face and I did put on some lashes because I thought that they go very well with this look. It's a little bit more dramatic. And now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take laundry again and I'm gonna put that all over my lower lash line. It's such a pretty pink because it has some brown in it and it's not a hot pink. And I'm taking Wanderlust again right here and I'm gonna put it closer to my lower lash line. 
This color with the blue goes so well. Just like that, I'm not gonna bring it any further. Blend out the edges. I'm really liking this look. And I'm gonna put this color right here, which is called Pukito Mas. And I'm gonna try to put that in my inner corner. It's such a pretty color. Yes. It has a hint of pink in it, but at the same time, it's kind of neutral. This is a unique color. I really like it. Those eyeshadows are so good. I'm gonna put some mascara in my lower lashes. And the eye look is basically done. I really like it. I think it's so beautiful and so unique. Palma is a very beautiful color. I'm definitely gonna be using it more. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my lips and I think I'm gonna do peachy first. It smells so good. Just like the other Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Oh, I chose this color because it's a very beautiful nude, but it's a warm nude, it's not a pinky nude. I think that most nude liquid lipstick have a pink undertone and I really like the ones that have a brown undertone and this one definitely has that. And Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks have a great formula. That is pretty. Not my best application, but just gonna roll with it. Right, I really like this color. And the formula is very nice. I'm in love with the eye look. I really like it. Very happy with Peachy. Now I'm gonna try uh, Brio. I think I wanna put it on top and see how that makes things. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It has such beautiful gold shimmers. It's not really sticky. I do have the liquid lipstick too, so there are a couple of layers there, but I think I could totally wear them together. They look very nice. But you know what? I do want to try the lip gloss on its own. It smells so good. I cannot get over it. I think it's very pretty on its own too. Uh, when you wear it on its own, you can kind of feel the glitters. They are a little bit like sand, but nothing too crazy. It's just a little bit. You can definitely feel it. But when I had the liquid lipstick underneath, I couldn't feel it at all. It's not uncomfortable. You can just feel that there is something there. It's not super glossy, I would say. It has a lot of shine because of the gold shimmers, but the gloss itself, I don't feel like it's super shiny. So it's in between, you know, but I still like it. I think it's very nice. I expected it to be a little bit more glossy, but I can work with this. And it looked very nice on top of Peachy, which is a good thing. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Like I said 300 times already, I am in love with the eye look. It's so pretty. And the palette, I think it's a great palette. I didn't play with all the eyeshadows, but I am definitely gonna play with it more. The packaging is so stunning, I mean, she did an amazing job with the packaging. I highly recommend this palette. You can still get your hands on it. And I got mine from Beauty Bay, which is awesome because I didn't get to pay for shipping or anything, which is great. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Um, it feels very nice and heavy, which is very good. Those two, very good. Um, I was a tiny bit disappointed about the, the gloss because just like I said, I expected it to be a little bit more glossy, but at the same time, I've never tried a gloss like this, so I didn't know what to expect exactly. But still, I think it's a very beautiful gloss. It gives a very interesting look to your lips. And the liquid lipstick, awesome. The formula is amazing. And the color, I think it looks very nice. Oh, so yeah, that's all I have to say. I think it's a great collection and uh, she did an amazing job. And I do recommend all of the things that I got. I am gonna be doing more looks with this palette. They'll be coming soon. So yeah, that's all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.